Namaste. I am Dr. R. R. Nathan, physician, Tango Hospital, Palakkad. Today's video is about how to approach cancer through the ancient healing methods. First, we will be dealing with the chakras of the energy centers and the aura system. Our body is surrounded by uh, an energy field. There are seven layers of energy field surrounding our body. Immediately close to the physical body is the etheric body. It is dense white in color and it represents the state of health of the people. Next, outer to the outer to this etheric body is the uh, emotional body. It is concerned with the emotions of everyday life. It's like anger, grief, etc. Next to that is the mental layer. Mental layer is concerned with the past memories. Memories during childhood and adolescence and in our younger days, the impressions are stored in the mental layer. The immediately close to body is etheric body, it is white in color. Next is the emotional body, it, it is red. Uh, it is red in color and this mental body is orange in color. Away from it is the astral body. It is yellow in color and it is concerned with happiness, joy and our perfection and all those. Outer to this is the casual body. It is green in color. The memories of the past life are stored here. Outer to that is the celestial layer which is concerned with our intuition, our prophecies, etc. Beyond that is the cosmic layer. It is uh, indigo color shaped while the celestial layer is blue in color and the outermost one is indigo color so any illness affecting our body will be reflect, reflected in the or early, much more before it appears in the physical body. Then there are energy centers called the chakras in our body. It is in the vertebral column inside the, inside the spinal cord, the second canal. So these energy centers uh, are situated right from the tip of the spinal cord below the coccyx in below the coccyx so the lowest one is called muladhara or root chakra it has four petals reddish in color and it is the center is yellow the mantra, be a root mantra of this, of this chakra, the Mooladhari chakra or root chakra is lem. And 
the petals are red in color and the mantras written in the petals correspondingly are bam sham sham sam above that is the sadhisthana chakra or the sacral chakra you know you know below the umbilicus you can feel a bony prominence and exactly opposite to it in the vertebral column in the back is the sacral chakra or sadhisthana chakra it is has six petals orange in color and the center is white and uh, next the mantra of root mantra is bam and the mantras written in the petals six petals are bam ipham mam yam dam lam about that exactly opposite the umbilicus in the vertebral column is the manipura chakra the manipura chakra has 10 petals uh, and it is yellow in color and the center is red the root mantra or bija mantra is ram and the mantras written in the petals are tham itham nam tham itham dam itham nam pam ifam the sanskrit letters are written there above that is the anahata chakra anahata chakra is of 12 petals the center is smoke colored and the petals are pinkish to red in color the root mantra of this is yam and the mantras written in the petals are kam ikham gam ikham ngam cham icham pam ifam the anahata chakra is situated in exactly in the center between the nipples opposite to that in the vertebral column back next is vishuddhi chakra this is also called as throat chakra it is situated in the vocal cord exactly opposite the vocal cord in the neck but vertebral golem it is situated it has 16 petals the root mantra or bija mantra is hum and the corresponding bija mantras written in the petals it has they are violet in color that starts from a a e e u u kr green roon roon a i o a um a it is worth mentioning that the last not the last the but the one am a there is am the speakiness of this am letter can contribute to the annamaya kosha development or cancer then there is the eyebrow center between the eyebrows it is called as ajna chakra it has two petals it is white in color and the center there is a golden shivalinga and the mantra is om me sub center just immediately above the sub center is or ajna is called as manas chakra it has six petals the color varies from yellow white red smoke colored smoke colored white and black it has six petals that is concerned with the mind 
above that, little above that, is the Bindu Chakra, which is concerned with intellect. It has 16 petals and is white in color. It is the mantra is chrome. Above that is another chakra. It is 100 petals are there. The petals are white in color. It is called as Nirvana chakra. The mantra is gum. It is concerned with the ego, I factor. Above that is a the part of the topmost chakra, it is called as Guri Chakra, it is a 12 petal layer, white one, and the mantra is aim. The topmost chakra is Sahasrara Chakra, it is 1000 petal, it is said to be golden in color, in the center there is a white shivalinga. In addition to that, in the healing of cancer, two other minor chakras are also important. One is the below the chest, in the rib margin on the left side, it is called as immune chakra, one in front and one in back. Sepspetaled. Similarly, just where I, at the junction of the chest and the abdomen, this point there is another chakra called as emotional chakra with varying colors front and back. That is called as emotional chakra, both front and back. So these are the chakras. So, the imbalance of the chakras or the energy centers contribute to the development of illnesses. The imbalances of the root chakra or the lowermost chakra, Muladhara chakra, gives rise to soft, soft tissue tumors of the, of the thighs or the legs leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, bone tumors. These are due to the imbalance of the Muladhara chakra. Above that is the sacral chakra or Sadhisthana chakra. Imbalance in this will cause cancer of the kidneys, uterus, cervix, ovaries, then testis etc. Above that is the Manipura Chakra or the Naval Chakra. Imbalance of this cause the illnesses, cancers of the small intestine, large intestine, pancreas, liver and gallbladder. Just above that is the small median chakra which is called as emotional chakra that also contributes to the development of cancers of the stomach, liver, gallbladder. Then above that is the heart chakra in between the nipples this point below actually opposite it in the back it is a heart chakra so imbalance of the anahata chakra or heart chakra causes the tumors of the lungs in the lower portions lower lobes thymus tumor etc next is the anahata and the vishuddhi chakra or the throat chakra it is situated exactly opposite the voice box in the vertical column and the imbalances of that 
चक्रा पोसस ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द ईयर नोस एंड थ्रोट थायराइड पारा थायराइड ट्यूमर्स इन द नेक नेक्स्ट कम्स द आईब्रो चक्रा द डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ दिस कॉज ट्यूमर्स ऑफ द आई एंड ब्रेन ट्यूमर्स एंड द imbalances in the topmost chakra sahasrara chakra can also cause brain tumors so how we are going to set the chakras in balance first we have to clean the aura aura means the electromagnetic force so tend to feel 12 feet from us starts the aura so you have to if you cannot do it yourself you have to help get your help from your friend or relative you close your palm like this and bring it from 12 feet as you come you get a push and pull that is the area of that auric field then then you have to come a little down little close to the body 3 or 4 feet at that time also you get a push and pull that is the area of the i have immune chakras immune rays and as you come close to the body 5 to 6 inches from the body you get the push and pull that is the aura of the physical body so when you scan from head to foot you sometimes you can get a dip in the aura or a protrusion protrusion means the chakra is over activated and a depression means there is chakra is has shrinkage both these are due to disease of the corresponding chakra so first you have to clean the chakras for that you yeah, first of all you come close to the uh, body 6 inches above uh, away from it you can feel the energy field you feel a push and pull in your hands you can divide the body into even parts one from here and like that you can five here one here total 11 similarly on the back also so what you have to do is you close come with the hand together and make a six sack movement like this from top of the head to the foot then you can do a spiral movement with the so it looks should look like a golden color spiral movement like this so you have to do it here and five places here five places here and the back also that is how you clean the auras then you have to clean the chakras individual chakras so first you have to clean from the crown chakra and actually you have to come with the hand and you have to visualize a brilliant light brilliance means the color of the sun in in the noon that 
color imagine that color radiating from you and it is cleaning the aura like that from head to foot both sides there are three places here like that then you seal it visualize spiritual energy silver in color radiating from your hand and it is you clean from the top of the head to the foot so you do this with the crown chakra throat chakra throat chakra heart chakra then here is the site immune chakra both in the back you do the same thing with these chakras next what you have to do is this emotional chakra is here from emotional chakra downwards first you have to spend silver spiritual energy just like the moonlight color silver spiritual energy you push and pull like that and then for the other chakras also manipuri chakra sadhisthana chakra and root chakra you do this first clean with the silver spiritual energy then again from the this chakra this emotional chakra you clean it with brilliant energy that is the color of the moon and sun at the, the noon time then finally you for you clean with again silver spiritual energy applicable to, to all the chakras right up to the root chakra or muladhara chakra then you have to for example if you are taking the cancer stomach for example first clean with spiritual silver energy then by put brilliant energy the color of the sun in the moon at the noon time then finally again so clean with this then silver you have to clean the chakra the chakra is just stay like a cone so it has a web like that and uh, this is the cone so first you are imagine you have to visualize you are taking out the web and washing it with brilliant light then you are cleaning it again with golden color i mean that is emitting from your hand then take out the cone area just like the ice cream corn ice cream that is concerned with, with the purification of the chakras and the body so you there are etherical notes you clean it with first silver spiritual energy then brilliant energy and finally gold energy and visualize it in the keeping it as place in the manipuri chakra this is applicable to the lower chakras also wherever the disease is there after the chakra cleaning you have to clean the organ for example if it is the stomach you visualize brilliance uh, brilliance color coming from your hand and cleaning the whole area then you have to clean again with 
silver spiritual energy with that the uh, the healing of the chakras takes place this has to be done for all the chakras there are the concerned organ is disease that you do it there also that organ also next is we have to activate the chakras the mantras of root mantras for the chakras are the lower most chakra root, root chakra or muladhara is lam so you have to say lam 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 like that preferably one or eight times above that is a sacral chakra or sadhisthana chakra the root mantra is bam you have to utter one or eight times above that is the navel chakra or manipura chakra the root mantra is satyam here is the heart chakra or anagara chakra it is yam yam then vishuddhi chakra or throat chakra is hum and eyebrow chakra it is om you have to mentally chant at least one or two times next you have to uh, breathe the color of the elements of the chakras first the color of the element of the root chakra is yellow as you inhale you visualize yellow colored air entering through the nose and going down as you exhale also you have to mention um, chant the mantra for example you in if you inhale the root chakra you say yellow colored air is you are breathing and you are, should be saying mentally lam 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 and the exhalation also you have to say lam above that is a sacral chakra the root mantra is pam you inhale white colored or blue colored air and and on inhalation and exhalation chant bam for the manipura chakra or navel chakra inhale red air inhale and exhale red air with chanting the mantra atyam for heart chakra you inhale and exhale smoky colored air and say the chanting chant the mantra yam for throat chakra you have to visually violet air you are inhaling and exhaling and the same day chanting the mantra hum that is the act for activating our chakras then for the cancer cells uh, grow slowly in the presence of oxygen so you have to do pranayama the you cannot do the complicated pranayamas but the, but the simplest thing is that make the spine straight and inhale for and exhale if you are inhaling for the count of 4 exhale also for the count of 4 it depends on your capacity if you can hold the breath for example if you inhale for the count of 4 hold it for the count of 16 and exhale for the count of 8 one is to 4 is to 2 if only you get the you have the capacity to do it you can do it so this way you can whenever you are free 
you can do this inhalation and exhalation then you should have at least 30 minutes of exposure to sunlight that will increase your immunity that is the reason early between 7 and 8 you sit in a, in a place where you get enough light you can read the paper or tea, drink tea and coffee at that time you face the sun and do all these things according to the ancient thoughts all the diseases are due to the karmas in then in the past or in the earlier times in this life earth so to do away with the past karmas so you have to do the particular breathing as you inhale hum as you exhale so say mentally this will remove the past karmas as you inhale hum as you exhale so for doing away with the present negative uh, karma effect you can do the soham that is as you inhale you say so as you exhale you say hum that way the past karmas can be cleared next is as a powerful breathing technique it is breathing through the pores of the skin our skin has numerous pores, you are breathing through it. Suppose, uh, you yourself, you are sitting in a cocoon of white light. You are sitting in a pyramid or a place that is filled with white light. You inhale. As you inhale, the white light enters through all the pores of your skin enters the whole body, enters the every cell of your body and cleans it. As you exhale, all toxins are removed as grey, grey colored particles that go through the pores. Similarly, you can breathe through the bones also. That is, as you inhale, visualize you are inhaling white color light through all your bones as you exhale visualize all your negative energies are going out like grayish particles through the bone out to outside this will increase the immunity so, uh, you are, uh, most of the people, when they come to know that they have cancer, they are afraid, depressed and all those. Actually, the healing of any illnesses takes place in the subconscious mind. To activate the subconscious mind, you have to take, uh, to do certain affirmations. That has to be just before going to bed and soon after getting out of bed. Say as many times as possible, I am healthy, I am calm, I am courageous, I am happy. You should say as many times as possible, if not 100 or not 8 times or so many times. That will increase your immunity. Then visualization, creative visualization. Suppose you, we have the white blood corpuscles in the body that are fighting the cancer cells, macrophages, etc. Imagine the white blood cells in your body are very courageous and they are going out and killing the tumor cells in the body. You have to visualize like that. 
that will do wonderful benefits then violet light healing imagine one feet above your head a source a circular source of violet light is coming it is entering through the this crown chakra and entering the body and it is distributing to each and every cell of the body especially it's go to the uh, organ concerned with cancer for example if it is stomach cancer it goes to the stomach and it heals the stomach it violet cell violet light going to the through the all the cells of the stomach and it kills the cancer cells and make you heal and make your healing easy then another healing is through the kundalini force so the kund the kundalini is situated at the tip of the coccyx our soul is situated here in the heart area inside the inside the spinal canal it is a thumb shaped flame so imagine your the kundalini force is coming from the tip of the box six muladhara chakra it comes to the sacral chakra navel chakra and heart chakra and from here the soul is going it is going through the throat chakra eyebrow chakra and it goes out imagine you have to visualize it goes out through the crown chakra it tends to vayu loka or the space of air then it goes to the chandra lok or the place of moon then it again goes to the surya lok or place of the sun it again goes up in the nakshatra loka or the space of the stars it again goes from the star loka to the yes area of the energy shakti loka it is pink in color and from there it goes to loka or space of parabrahma or the almighty lord shiva it it is completely white in color your soul has merged with the parama shiva so you plead lord parama shiva that your uh, illness the tumor where you where you are uh, should be completely healed you can if you have other illnesses heart disease or any other illness heart disease or any other infections or heart stroke or anything you can plead to the lord parama shiva in the shiva loka and he will hear to what you what, what you ask for visualize he is giving you the boons with the right hand so you thank him and again descend down from the shiva loka to the shakti loka then the star loka then the sun sun place then the moon place then the air space then it tends through the crown of the crown of the head then it comes down it goes through the throat chakra in say it comes to the soul comes to the second the heart area anahara chakra which is the lord 
repairing your damaged area and visualize that you are completely healed. In this way you are completely healed. So these are the techniques of ancient healing. You have to continue with the present medication. Whether it is chemotherapy or surgery or immunotherapy or any drugs you have to, con you have to take regularly. Along with this you can do the uh, for all the exercises I have set with that hope you will be completely healed from cancer. May God bless you all. Thank you.